in this video, we are going to look at the roles of skeletal muscles, tendons, and ligaments. Skeletal muscles, okay, this is skeletal muscles, which comprises bundles of muscle fibers with large uh, supply of nerves and also blood vessels. And the muscles work in pairs. They act in opposite directions. When one muscle contracts, the other one relaxes, and vice versa. And this type of muscles, we call it as the antagonistic muscles. Biceps and triceps, these two are examples of antagonistic muscles. Okay, the muscles that straightens the limb. Straightens. When it contracts, we call it as the extensor. For example, triceps. Triceps. Okay, the muscles that bends the limbs, when it contracts, we call it as the flexor. And the examples is the biceps muscles. Okay, tendons. The function is to connect the bone and the muscles, which consists of strong fibers. They are not elastic, but then flexible. Okay, for ligaments, its function is to connect the bone and bone bone to bone. So bones are held together at joints by ligaments which consist of strong, elastic and tough connective tissue bundles. So ligament is able to provide support and strength to joints allowing the bones to bend at the joints. Okay, they are flexible. Okay, this one has been mentioned just now. Strong, elastic connective tissues joining the bones to other bones or to cartilage in the joint areas. They permit limited movement within a range while holding the attached bone bones firmly in place. For example, ligaments at the knee is going to limit the movement of the lower leg to a certain range. So you can see right here these two are bones. Okay, you can see how the bones are being hold firmly, are being held firmly together uh, by this structure known as the ligament. Okay, these are the ligaments. Okay, tendon just now already mentioned that it is to connect the muscles to the bone. Okay, skeletal muscles are generally attached to at least two at least two bones through tendons. Okay, so you get to see the picture of tendons right here. This is muscles, these are bones. You get to see tendons, tendons, as well as this one. Okay, let's recall on the appendicular skeleton, which is related to the limbs. So it consists of the girdles. We have two girdles, pectoral girdles and also pelvic girdle. Okay, if this pectoral girdles, okay, it is related to the, the forearms, whereas for pelvic girdle, the upper limbs. Okay, this one the lower the up, sorry the lower limbs. Just now pectoral girdles with the upper limbs and pelvic girdle with the lower limbs. Okay, you gotta see this is pectoral girdle. And uh, this is the ball and socket joint. Okay, we have here clavicle, initulang clavicle, which is also known as the collar bone. Collar bone. Collar bone. Okay, we have the shoulder blade, and that is the scapula. Flat triangular shaped bone that forms the skeletal basis of the shoulder. Okay, this is humerus. Tulang ini bernama humerus, that's the bone at the upper arms, with its upper end articulates with the scapula to form a ball and socket joint at the shoulder. Okay, di sini. That's why our shoulder, at this region, okay, the movement is, uh, this is a type of freely movable joints, which allows movement in all directions. 
Okay, this is ulna and radius. Okay, you can see the picture right here, ulna and radius that forms the forearm, our forearm. Ulna is the longer one that articulates with the humerus and then radius is flattened, slightly curved bone in the hand. Okay, this one is our uh, ibu jari, uh, the thumb. And this is the jari linking. So you can see if this is the thumb, then sebelah sini adalah radius. Okay, let's look at the pelvic girdle. Bahagian bawah pula kita lihat, which provides connection between the axial skeleton and also the hind limbs, the lower limbs. Di mana kita ada, uh, this is pubic symphysis, this one is the femur. Uh, femur is the largest bone. Bear in your mind, that's the largest bone in the human body with its lower end, maksudnya sebelah bawah sini, articulates with the tibia to form a hinge joint. Uh, di sini ada sendi engsel at the knee, sebelah lut di bahagian lutut. So, it's articulating with this bone known as the tibia. Okay, lower leg ini, we have two bones, tibia and then juga fibula. Di mana tibia as compared to fibula adalah lebih besar. Fibula is shorter, smaller um, bone found along with tibia which gives skeletal support to the legs. Okay, alright. So, yang ini adalah bahagian kaki, tapak ah. It is also known as the tussles, metatussles, and also phalanges, the toe bones. Okay, reverse back to the uh, the palm, the wrist. We have couples. Okay, ni tulang tulang dia couples, uh, metacouples, and also phalanges, the finger bones. Okay, nama nama tulang yang uh, you you have to know because sometimes you'll be asked to label the bones.